let's talk a little bit about the story Ten with a Flag. So this is a story about a dystopian, this is a dystopian story or about a society that's gone bad. And in this society, babies or pre-born babies are genetically tested. Uh, there's some sort of test that tells what their future will be like. And this young couple, pregnant, has the baby tested. And they find out that the baby is a 10. Out of a 1 to 10, it is a 10. And what that means is that this baby is um, has like so many amazing talents to be. They believe that it is potentially society changing, something like a Mozart or Einstein. Uh, this child is going to be amazing. Um, but there's also a flag, and the flag indicates that there is something wrong, not genetically necessarily, not physically necessarily, but is going to be a problem. There's going to be an issue. And this couple is faced then with the choice, do they keep the child or not? And to complicate matters, because they find out that the child is a 10, their society is on these tiers, right? Depending on what tier you're at, uh, where you live, how much money you make, what kind of support, what kind of status. Um, they're at a 6 right now at a 10. But if their child is a 10, they get raised up to an 8. They get a pay raise. They get a lot of bonuses. They get a lot of um, improvements in uh, accommodations and everything. So now the, the the family has to pick between this child, the 10, or this child, the flag, or the problem. Um, what makes matters even more difficult, not just the added stress of the choice, not just the added stress of the social change that they're about to get or status change they're about to take, but also this government official gets involved, and he's really pushing them. He's really pushing them. Um, they do to make a decision. They're going to end the, the pregnancy. And just then, the government swoops in and they arrest the father because he was the one pushing her. And they said that was what, um, that was the, that was the problem there. That's what this child is going to be is so amazing and finding and rooting out evils in the society uh, because it already found one before it was even born, right? One of the things about this story I think is, is important for you to be thinking about is first off, uh, the choices, choosing between your spouse, your mate, your loved one, and this unborn child, right? There's that choice. The, chi the choice between what you believe is good for you versus what is going to be good for society, which I think is the better and the more difficult decision to make. Um, I think also the other piece to be thinking about is, do you want to know what the future holds? Do you want to know what is coming up? Because sometimes, as like in this case, knowing the future was probably more difficult than the actual future could have been, right? The, the stress and the worry and the whatever of knowing the future and what's coming up, that could have been even more difficult.